Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here, back with some more Kibby, because you know I love playing that Kibby, right? Okay, not funny at all, dude. Okay, level 3 Ripple Field. Hey, I actually remember, I remember this song, actually. Like, I have, again, the Kirby Stream Collection soundtrack. This is actually one of the, one of the uh, songs that you hear is actually from this, this level, because it says Ripple Field, I don't know. But anyways, take on level 1 right here. Kinda see it, kinda sounds familiar. But anyways, uh, so how are you guys doing? It's been like a couple, like a week or two since the last episode. Yeah, I'm trying really hard to go not, to not go into a big long hiatus like I did, especially back in 2014. 2014 was terrible. Um, uh, but yeah. Crap! Dude! Okay, okay, that works, that works, that works, okay, there you go. There you go, I managed to, managed to not die there. Start the level. Oh yes, the Rockabilly, yeah, that was always my, that was always my favorite. Yeah, with it, you can actually roll down to some of these enemies here, which is pretty nice whenever you have pills like that. PILLS! Okay. If you know what I was referencing there, you are awesome. I'm not even sure if that's awesome for anyone to know what I was referencing there, yeah. I know my friends will, definitely for sure. Okay. Oh crap, dude, 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 you don't, you don't double tap B like an idiot like that, jeez. What game are you playing, man? Well, you're playing Kirby Stream Land 2. Probably annoyed by now. <clears throat> yeah, I actually had a. You know, if there's one thing I've learned in the past few years, it's that you should never, ever, ever go on hiatuses. Like, if you can ever avoid hiatuses, just avoid them entirely because it's gonna. It hurts your viewership a lot if you do that. Like, seriously. Uh, but yeah, I just, apparently I've learned that lesson enough because I once again went through another hiatus. It's, I don't know why, but April and. March seems to be like really bad months for me or something, or just whenever I end up in LP or something, I don't know. Because that seems to seem to be what happened, like after I ended, uh, you know, Metroid Prime 3 and, uh, and, uh, what was the other LP I was doing? Jeez, dude, seriously? Did you seriously forget? Um, so, the SpongeBob movie, yeah. You know, when I finished those two LPs so close to each other, I, I wasn't planning far ahead enough, and as a result, I ended up with no content to. Uh, uh, prepared for when the LPs ended. I guess that's the end right there. Yep, that's it. Let's see what I do here. Oh wow, I actually did pretty well there. Jeez, I think that's like the second to the, second to the top right there too. Not too bad. I do say so myself. Okay. So yes, uh, I was thinking for Kirby's Dream Land three. Once we get to, once we get around to it, I could uh, just go ahead and do. Okay, that was worth it. But that was worth it. That star. I don't care what you guys think. That was, that was worth it. But that star, man. Okay. But yeah, like I said, I was thinking. I think I was thinking for Kirby Streamland 3, I could just pull out my Virtual Console, my Wii or my Wii U, and that way it could be in widescreen. Uh, you know, unlike these, unlike these first two Kirby Streamland games, because yeah, I get sick of doing it in standard, standard uh, resolution. Seriously, man. Okay. Let's check out the story here, see where it leads to. Oh god, that was a big well not really, because that means we'll get an ammo buddy for this, but yeah. Still, not a big fan of these mid boss fights, because I was I was sucked terribly at them. Okay. Wait, did I just take wait what? Oh I thought for some reason I thought I took damage to actually touching touching the sack that the ammo buddy's hitting in it. That's, that was kinda dumb. Okay. Well, anyways, got our ammo buddy. And it's Koo, or Kind the Fish, sorry, Kind the Fish, not, not Koo. Such an idiot, dude. Yeah, with, uh, I guess with Kind, you can actually just, uh, swim better, I, I don't know, it's not really much of a difference. You just, well, actually, yeah, I guess you could probably power through these, these, uh, these, uh, jet streams a lot better, I don't know. Also, seriously, Pipes? Pipes? What, what franchise is this? Is this Kirby or Mario? Seriously, man. I guess anytime I see pipes in a non-Mario game, I get kind of excited, I guess, I don't know. Not that I hate, not that I, you know, actually, I don't know if I love Mario more than this, actually. I think, uh, I prefer Kirby over the Mario franchise, but still. Mario games are so awesome. I would like to believe that I love them equally, but, uh, I don't know, I guess not. I don't know. I just don't know, man, I just don't know. Okay, oh, boy. Oh, we probably can't, well, I, we, yeah, we can kind of leave the war with, with kind, but not, yeah, we don't really platform as well if you're not in the water. But, thankfully, um, as we've seen before, our abilities actually do get enhanced when we have animal bites on us, and wow. Seriously, dude? Seriously? 
you're just full of, you know, terrible game, terrible playing ability, aren't you, today? Oh boy, so, uh, not much has been, uh, going on since then. I've been watching, uh, you know, Pie Guy Rules do an LP of Spongebob Battle for Game Bomb, which is very exciting for me, because one, I don't, I don't see people that I'm familiar with doing Let's Plays that game that, you know, Spongebob games in general that often, and I feel like I'm, I'm the only person I know who actually does LPs of them, you know, so... So it's very exciting to see someone doing it. I'm mean, not saying that there aren't other, you know, better LPers doing doing that LPs of that game, but I'm just talking about like less players that I watch, and uh, I didn't actually become familiar to, with. Uh, I didn't even know Pie Guy had a Let's Play channel until they started doing a SpongeBob Revenge of Flying Dutchman, and I was very excited to watch that. But I didn't have a chance to help him out with much with the game as much as I am with Battle for Cape Bomb because. You know, by the time he, he was like a, already like, I don't know how many parts in, like, almost like... How many parts was he in by the time I got around to watching? I don't know. But yeah, by then it was like everyone was already, everyone else was already watching, and they... And I didn't have a, have a clue what, what time of the day he was uploading his videos and whatnot, so... And he was uploading them like once a day, so it got to the point where I was just, I was just way behind, had to, you know, watch the first few parts over again, or... Way after everyone else had already watched them by then, I felt like, well, no, I can't really help out much because um, there's probably not much I can say that people I've already said before, you know. It's just such a big deal because, you know, I did a... M the most viewed videos I have on my channel are me doing a walkthrough, a 100% walkthrough of the game, so you think I'd be able to be more helpful than I was, but no. So, I'm glad I'm, I'm, glad I'm able to help out now with the... You know, the Battle for Key Bomb Let's Play by helping him find out where, where all the socks are and whatnot. Okay, so I guess uh, one thing, one cool thing about Kine uh, as an Amble Buddy that you can't do in uh, in other Kirby games is he allows you to suck up enemies underwater, which I would assume that you can't do in any other Kirby game, and wow! Yay! I just lost my lost Kine. That's excellent. That was just fantastic right there. Okay. There we go. At least we got something out. We got Fire Billy now. I don't know how that would be enhanced with that with uh, Kine, but whatever. Hey, I recognize the song. Yeah, I guess that's the. Uh, that's gonna happen when you when you play later Kirby games, you know, early on in life, and then you finally, many years later, go back to the old ones, and you'll, you'll be familiar with the with the songs in their original versions. I guess I don't know. Why am I? Why do I keep on going back to these enemies, dude? Seriously. Probably because I keep on losing my warp, my star, and then I have to get it back from them. Uh, well, let's we'll just continue on, man. Yeah, the reason why... Seriously, dude? Ugh. Yeah, the reason why I'm LPing these games is not because I'm good at them. I'm far from it, by the way. But just because, uh... You know, I just... What? Dude, seriously. Stop sucking so bad at this game. Literally. Because <laughs> Kirby's the one... Sucking up. Never mind, dude. Just never mind. Yeah, I'm so sorry about me sucking so badly at this game. I just can't get good. I can't be good at them, you know, having this lack of experience with them. I'm just dying. I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna die right in this wall, in this water tunnel right here. Yeah, you see? I saw that coming because I can't avoid anything. Seriously, I can't avoid for crap, man. I can't dodge anything. And so I just run into everything that, that comes on the screen like I'm doing on purpose or something. You know, that's what really bothers me about these early Kirby games, that you just, you can't see anything coming. It's like, the screens are so small, because they're, you know, standard definition and whatnot, so you can't see anything as it's coming, and then it just hits you, and it, and it just really annoys you, and then you just, you're not focused, and then you just die. Which is how it goes with these early Kirby games, and I really hate that. You know, because it, it's going to happen if you didn't play these games when you were growing up, I'm telling you, man. It's just, uh, I don't know. That's just how it goes, and it's really frustrating. Oh, man. Well, either way, I think we reached the boss now. Looks like it. So, either way, it was the water world after all, so... Can't expect it to be that good. Okay, let's see who our boss is. Oh! Not surprisingly, it's a fish! It's a puffer fish! Okay. Oh, we can do damage to it just by... Wait, what? Okay, so there you have these stars, and if you hit them, it'll reflect, it'll cause it to hit him or something. I don't know this fish. And I kind of saw that coming because that's the Kupula attack right there, that where he charges at you. I kind of saw that coming, actually, very surprisingly. Okay, 
here's the stars again. Come on, hit them. There we go. Just hit the stars towards him. There you go. Don't get, don't walk into his attacks, dude. Seriously? Okay, are you gonna... Oh, crap. What's he doing? He's preparing for some sort of move here. Okay, okay, I'm sure I can do this. I'm sure I can do this, come on. He's almost dead, he's almost dead. He's like, got just as much health as I do. So I think we can still do this. We still might have this, even if I have one hit left. Or not. Just go straight into that Gordo, dude. Just go straight into your Gordo right there. Just go ahead and do that. And it got game over, see? See how far back do I have to go? Do I have to do the whole world over again? I probably have to do the whole world again. Probably do. Okay, no I don't. I just have to do the boss over again. Okay, whatever. Ugh. That's how harsh I was expecting the game to be, is by is having me do the entire world over again. That's how... You know, because I, I expect early games to be harsh. I really do. And the problem is I'm just not good at them. You know, because I didn't grow up playing them. Like, like some people did. Why didn't I see it coming that time? I saw it coming the first time, and now I didn't this time. I don't know, maybe because I wasn't expecting him to do it so early. Jeez, man. Ugh, this is another thing that happens whenever you go on a long hiatus, like your commentary sucks, because like you just you're not used to doing it and you have to get used to it all over again, so that's another thing that's annoying about going on hiatus is why you shouldn't do it if you're a if you're a less player like me. I would highly recommend against them. Despite the fact that I've gone on hiatus so often. So I never get tired of having this NES controller. It's so it's so helpful if you're doing these old these old Kirby games. NES classic edition controller. Advertising is if like you can easily access it. Well, you probably can ac access the controller easily, but not definitely not the system that comes with. Oh god! There we go. There's some trial and error. We finally got it. Yeah, Water World's whenever anybody's favorite, anyways. Let's be honest. Let's be real here. All right, y'all. You know the drill. Next time on Kirby's Dream Land 2, we're gonna take on the fourth level, which is let's go ahead and take a look. Iceberg. Oh boy. So it's the snowy level. Oh boy. And it looks like we'll be seeing Rick in this level, and possibly well, yeah, Rick, because we're coming back to land. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. I will see you guys next time for some more Kirby's Dream Land 2. I'm probably gonna take another break before. Well, not not a couple weeks, but a, you know, I'm not just not gonna record two episodes in one day this time. So, uh, yeah, because I just, uh, man. Again, it's not, I'm not doing these LPs because I'm good at these games. It's just to experience them, most like, mostly. Um, but the, you know, once I get back to Wind Waker, then I'll feel like I'm actually doing decent. Because, uh, let's just say I've gotten some practice in with Wind Waker ever since I last uh, recorded the game, which was episode two, which was months ago at this point. So, I'd really like to get back to that and actually feel like I'm good at game for once. So, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.